Hello, I'm Rene. Welcome to this tip and trick. Did you know that archive could be an important part of your workflow? Let me give you an example. Many times you will have a customer that on a regular basis makes use of your services. Time between new or repeat orders can be however sometimes months or even years. It is easy this way to lose track of for example link bitmaps you have used in a worksheet. Or even a worksheet itself. It will look very professional if you have to ask if the customer still has that file because you can find it. Probably the customer itself will not have that file either. Something like this could become a great problem. Let's avoid this problem. Make sure EasySign is started and a new worksheet is active. Select from the menu File, the command Run Archive. First of all, let's add the customer to the database. Make sure that under the menu View, Customer Data is selected. View customer data, so the view will look something like this. Now right click on the top node called customer file and select new. Let's name this one customer A. Next thing to do is to fill in all the fields like address, telephone, etc. I will skip this for the moment. We could now be ready to proceed, but then all the files for this customer would end up in the same directory, which will make it much harder to find a specific file, especially when there's hundreds of them. So first we will define a logical structure for files below this customer. Now right click on the folder we just added, select new, and name this one bitmap files. 2008. Let's add another. Right click on customer A again, select new, and this one we call Easy Sign Worksheets 2008. For this tip, this is enough folders. But in real life you probably would add more folders like Supplied Illustrator Files 2008 and even something like Excel Invoices 2008. Adding folders under Customers will keep everything neatly organized and thus easy to find. Let's say the customer supplied a bitmap to you on a DVD. In Archive select the folder Bitmap Links 2008 or Bitmap Files. I better could call this Links. Click on it once, highlight files, and make this links 2008. It's more logical for, the, for what we are about to, to do. Select view and select previews. If you select previews, all files that EasySign can open will be shown in the right pane over here. But bitmap is a file that EasySign can import. So to view this, we also have to select view, view all files. Now let's bring the DVD to the front. Select the file the customer supplied and drop it in the right pane. And there we have it. Now let's import this in eDesign. Right click on it and select import. Here we have it. I'll bring it to the top, <coughs> excuse me, because I want to make this a linked bitmap. And since the icon for linked bitmap is missing, this is a fully imported bitmap. And I'll bring it to the top because if I right click on it, I can see all the menu. Select bitmap and select link info. And then select link. Now the bitmap is linked. Let's make it a little bit larger. And let's make this look like a serious job. We type in a word print. Scale it roughly the size of the bitmap. Select the bitmap. Arrange. Masking. Place a mask. Select the text. And just for the fun of it, Let's add an outline. So, this 
won't win any prizes, but at least it looks like a serious job. Now we have to save this file under the customer, the one we just added. So select File and Archive As. Open the customer and select EasySum Worksheets 2008. And let's name this one Print. OK. And now close the file and we switch back to Archive. If we now select EasySum Worksheets 2008, here we have our file. Your worksheet with a nice preview. You don't have to remember where the bitmap link for this file is because Archive will keep track of this. And since also the bitmap is saved under this customer, the chance that, you, that the original bitmap will get lost is very small. Now imagine that this customer has about 12 jobs a year and comes for a repeat order. You made about two years ago. Just look it up in Archive and open it for reuse by right clicking on it and select Open. Especially when you have hundreds of files, this is a much more efficient way to work. I hope you have enjoyed this tip and trick and that it will be of use to you. And maybe we'll meet again in the next one.